Hi, my name is James and welcome to Prima Fasci. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a quick, just a five minute or less walkthrough, so let's take a look. This is the opening screen uh, to Prima. You'll see that we track priority dates in the system. So essentially I want you to think of Prima as a contact management system as far as the hierarchy goes. So you create a contact and then under that contact uh, you're going to be able to see all that person's information like their addresses, previous addresses, histories, etc. Related contacts. These are going to be people who are related to the principal immigrant here. Uh, these people, when you link them here, you're then allowed to populate the forms with their information. And like I was saying, under the contact page is where you're going to see the cases. Okay. Now at the contact level, we also track notes. You can track phone calls and tasks. Uh, you can upload a picture. You can enable a client portal and some features with Dropbox and Clio here. But basically, let's look at the, uh, at the case here. Let's go to this I-130 case. Now here is where you're going to find the forms. You can't just create a form under a contact. You create a case and then you create a form inside the case. Um, why? Because it's better organization and there's no per cost case, so it's better to be organized. Um, here's some case details. You can say which attorney is managing the case, which paralegals are. When you load one of our 114 case types, you're going to see that it loads uh, the case flow items. So these are typical steps you'd have to go through to complete the case. You would check those off as you go or delete them or add new ones as you need. We also load a checklist. So these are the typical items you would need to complete that case. So for example, you need to include money order. You need to include a marriage certificate, passport photos. Now a couple neat things. Uh, the attorney can upload those documents right to here from the computer. Uh, if you log in from your phone, you can just take pictures of those things and upload them there. Um, you can also enable that in, inside the client portal so that the client can, can upload those as well. Uh, the big deal though is forms, right? So here's a G28. Uh, when, it, when you first load the case, it's going to load as assigned to none. Okay? To change that, you just select which either the immigrant or one of those related contacts you want to fill the role. Let's make this one for Wendy. And you click yes, and it just warns you, hey, it's going to autofill this form. It's going to refill the information on it. Do you want to do it? Yes. And now that it's done, we'll click on the G28 here, and you can actually see it. So at the end of the day, you have to sign the forms. So here it is for you to review before you print it and sign it. Everything that's in green is something that can be autofilled by Prima. Uh, so as long as you're putting information in the database, it will autofill here. Uh, so typically on a G28, all you really need to do is add a date for signatures and you're good to go. Uh, when you're ready to download it, you can click here to download it and then print it. If you're synced with Clio, you can save it straight to Clio by clicking here. Dropbox, you can save it straight to there by clicking here. And that's the forms. Inside of a case, you can also track USCIS receipt numbers. So when that comes in the mail, you or your secretary will enter that here. And whenever you want to check it, you just come to the case, click update status and it's going to tell you the latest status of that case. You can also click here to see it on the USCIS website. Inside the contact, sorry, inside the case page as well, you can see and track notes. You can also track phone calls specific to this case, tasks, uh, there's some document storage here, and we also have a Dropbox integration, so you can save stuff into your Dropbox. It's nice because it automatically creates folders and subfolders for your contact and then your cases for that person. On the left hand side here, expiration dates. We track expiration dates in the system. So you can see which of your clients have a case that's expiring, a passport, a visa, parole document, work permit, conditional residence, or residency papers, a green card. Um, and you can check those and, and print those off. Uh, the other thing that you can do is we can look at our list of cases. You can see all of your cases here and this is sort of a flexible spreadsheet so you can filter you can say I want to see all of my I-130 cases and you just click contains and now it filters it so it's only showing you cases that have the name I-130 in it and if you say I only want the ones that are closed then you can filter those as well and there's none in this tenant but you get the idea you can sort through that data and then once you've sorted through it uh, or right away you can download that complete list as a spreadsheet uh, a CSV file or you can click here just to print it off so it gives you a lot of options and it's the same concept with contacts right you can filter those lists you can download lists 
and export it as a spreadsheet so that if you want to do a, a mailing list or something from that, you can do that. It's a good way for targeting specific uh, subgroups of your contacts. Uh, let's see here. On the left-hand side, we also have links, you know, common links that you're wanna, going to want to use in your immigration practice. Uh, and the last thing is up here. Look at the upper right-hand menu here. This is the administrator panel. So for the administrator on the account, these are some pe special controls just for them to be able to create custom case types, manage users, manage custom fields, and manage the integration with Clio and Dropbox. At the top menu here under the question mark, we have links to our support website. You can report a bug if you see a form that's not working like it should. You can schedule a new support call. You can even give us some feedback and request new features. Uh, we do pay attention to those uh, and we do fulfill many requests. So that's good to know. Uh, the other thing is we have Well, there's a lot of stuff, but this is just a brief walkthrough, and we actually went to six minutes, so I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.